I have become convinced that near-death experiences establishes the reality of life after death in personal research and the research of many others. What's important is what led to me believing that near-death experiences prove life after death. And the answer is there's nine lines of evidence that I've derived in my research. And I find those nine lives of evidence, any one of them, to be very strong evidence that there's an existence of life after death. But if you put all nine together, I think the combination of all nine lines of evidence becomes, in my opinion, compelling. When people have a, a, a mystical experience, what usually happens, how they describe it, is that they begin to lose the usual sense of material reality around them. Because those experiences have been described in extremely real terms, meaning that when people have that experience, they perceive it to represent a more fundamental level of reality than our everyday material reality that we normally live in. The, the people tell me that this was more real than ever what they experienced during their life. So during a period of so-called unconsciousness, what they experienced was more real... More real than ever. And That must have been shocking to you when you first heard that. It was shocking for the patients who experienced it. What my research found was that 76% of the near-death experiencers surveyed indicated that their level of consciousness and alertness was actually greater than their level of consciousness and alertness during their everyday life. And that is medically inexplicable. About everything I believed about all, all the metaphysical beliefs I had at that time and everything the culture had taught me, what I learned at school and what I learned in my family and, um, and I just threw it all out because the touchstone for me has always been what happened in the NDE. It was more real than my sitting here 39 years later and telling the story. Um, that really happened. This is like a dream, but that was real. Was the reality any more intense than reality you uh, perceive normally, or was it less? less uh, it was real. I mean, it was just real. I would say it was just real. Uh, I, I mean, this this is real, I suppose, but that was just very real. Certainly left a very strong imprint on my mind. I mean, I've never forgotten it, and that's over 17 years ago now. Mm. So I, I drifted way, 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 way up into this um, beautiful golden light. And as soon as I got there, I just knew that this is the real world. This has everything that I could ever need. This is truth. It's reality, it's absolute love. And everything down there that I'd left behind was completely unreal, illusion, and empty. Metaphorically, I turned around and looked at this world again. I, um, I saw the world that I had momentarily left. And it looked like so much paper mache. It looked like two-dimensional fluff that this was the illusion, um, and it was all contained within this infinite presence.